Good afternoon to all of you. Uh, let's begin our online class. So today we are going to discuss sample and population. So first of all, let me define what is population. So population is the entire group of interest. So literally population refers to the larger group from which individuals are selected to participate in a study. While sample is a representative portion of a population, literally sample is a group of people, a group of objects, or a group of items that are taken from a larger population for measurement. So according to Phil 2005, he defined sample is a smaller collection of units from a population used to determine truth about that population. Okay. So the sample should be representative of the population. So why representative? In order to ensure that we can generalize our research findings from the research sample to the population as a whole. And prior to selecting a sample, we need to define a sampling frame first. So let me define what is sampling frame. Sampling frame refers to a list of all the elements or units of the population of interest. So as we can only apply our research findings to the population defined by the sampling frame. Let me give you an example. Let's say our research interest is to examine students' satisfaction with bus services at University of Malaya. I know this is your very favorite research topic because everybody is talking about bus services at University, University of Malaya you are not satisfied with our bus services okay but we have lack of empirical evidence that's why you need to do research okay about this topic okay then what will be our target population for this research objectives our target research target population is all students of university of malaya okay so as you know that it would probably require too much time and money to collect this information from every student who has ever used bus services at University of Malaya. So therefore, we need to define a sampling frame first. So we may list down name of all students in the population who use bus services regularly frequently okay so in this regard our findings might not apply to all students particularly who do not use bus services regularly as well as who do not use bus services at all. Thus, we can define sampling frame. Then, we need to select an appropriate sample size from our sampling frame. Let's look at this diagram. So, population refers to all students of university of Malaya. From that population, we have listed down the name of students who use bus services frequently, okay? And we have excluded all the students who do not use bus services regularly, 
as well as who do not use bus services at all okay and from that sampling frame we have selected an appropriate sample size for our study okay so i hope everybody is clear now what is sample what is population and what is sampling frame so in the following video we will be discussing about sampling techniques as well as how to select an appropriate sample size for a study please stay tuned thank you very much